Hi guys, so we're here again. We've got a little package down here, which is a gas it gas cylinder and accessories for putting in the mo moho. So let's have a look what we got. We had to actually buy this bit separate because it didn't come, and that's just a It's a low pressure regulator, propane gas regulator. Okay. Now we've got a single gas bottle. You can get two to put in, but we went for a single one just to try it out first of all. Um, in that, and because you've got a single, you don't need a changeover regulator. So it's quite simple, I've been told. <laughs> You'll see. We've got two packets. This one, which is the actual gas bottle itself, it's metal. Oh, here we are. It came with this round the outside. I don't know whether that's protection or you're supposed to use it when you fit it. I don't suppose it matters one way or the other. It's got a, a guard around the top to guard. The uh, bits coming out the top here, the valves and the connectors, which uh, you can take off. And I might do that because it gives you more room to work on it. And it will be in the band, so it doesn't need that much protecting. We'll see how we go on that. So that's that. And with that, you get... It comes with the outlet, which goes to your connections on the motorhome with a valve on a closed down valve on the top uh, and you've got the, the middle one which goes via the infill connector on the side of your motorhome so that's those two with that you had another little parcel it's like Christmas in this one we have a couple of these connectors here, a straight one, a right angle one, <coughs> the connector where you put the uh, connector from the, uh, from the gas pump in on the outside of your van. You have this concoction here, which you attach to the side of your van. It's the cover for the system, and that you drill a hole in the side of your van, and then you screw that in. And this piece here sits inside there, right inside, and then you put the cover on when you're not using it. So those two came. You have a little empty full thing here, which I believe is done by a magnet, I think, inside the cylinder. Not sure how that fits yet. Uh, and you have a length of pipe that goes from the middle bit, this bit here, so that attaches to that and then the other end attaches to that which is your infill so that's how you fill it up and then you come out here with the other bit we bought this goes on there or in this case it doesn't we have to figure out a way of attaching that onto there looks like we've got the wrong connection there Okay, so we've got to sort that out anyway. That's the outlet to the van. Nothing else comes with it. There's no instructions. Not very helpful. So we knew that it didn't come with instructions because we did a bit of research. 
so we got the installation instructions for Gaslo, which is a similar sort of setup to the Gasset. So I'm using these to set it all up. So I'll get going and I'll let you know how it goes as we're doing it. And uh, we had a little present come today. This is the bit I've been waiting for. This is to fit the regulator here onto this bit here. So that's just what I'm going to do now. Notice it's got a left hand thread which all these gas bottles do in the UK. I don't know about abroad. Well, that ain't going to be big enough. I'm going to have to get myself another one. That'd be better. Right, I'm just going to finish doing this. Should be okay because it's got a rubber in the end. Now I'm going to put this one in. Again, it's a left hand thread, and I'm not going to put any PTF, PTFE tape or PFTE tape or whatever it's called on because this is all loose anyway. It does it properly by makes it gas proof by the two faces really mating together okay that's about right that'll do it hang on that's the wrong one again Let's get the right one Okay, that's fine. Now, what I'll do is I'll test that when I'll get the gas in for any leaks. The last bit I want to put on ah, is this bit. Okay, so all I'll do is I'll do the same thing. Put some tape around there and screw it on. Then tomorrow I'm going to take it in the van and do it. It's getting a bit dark out there now. So I'll just finish this up tonight and do that tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Right, we've got the filler in. This is the filler point here to put the gas into. Uh, goes in here. What it entailed was drilling, I think it was a two and three quarter inch hole through the side of the van. There's this go, like that through the side of the van and um, just cutting a couple of slots here and here to take the uh, two protrusions, one at the top and the back, to stop it turning when you screw the connectors in to fill, fill it up. So that was really simple. And then around the back, there's a, if you can see that, uh, there's screws, there's little bolts around there. That's the cover that goes over it, bolts it in, and that pulls it against the side of the van so it doesn't move. And then that bit there is where you put the uh, incoming gas connection to the bottle. So I've got that to do, and then get the bottle in, and uh, that's done then. Right. Okay, it's all finished. There you go, it's a bit dark so you can't really see it that well, but it's all connected up. And there's still enough room to get my hoses and stuff in there. One problem, even though it's tight now, this strap here 
Oh, I'm not really satisfied with the way that holds it on. That's the old one. I'm going to get one of those cradles and put on. But apart from that, it's done. All it needs doing is to fill it up and make sure there's no leaks. Now the job jobbed. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>